Um, it's a team of people that make all of this crazy stuff happen. And I'm telling you, the first time we all got together. What's up, it's Luis from America's Best Restaurants and we travel the country coast to coast to find the places where you need to eat at on a weekly basis. And this week we're in Henderson, Kentucky and we're at a restaurant called Hometown Roots. We're gonna get to talk to Casey and Shauna. Plus we're gonna see some items like their Kentucky Hot Brown that are gonna make your mouth water. Plus a few other things. Look, I know you're hungry because you're watching this. So are you ready? Let's go. right here, this is like the number one thing. So talk to me, whoever wants to talk, what do we got? Man, those are our pimento cheese flavors. Um, they're house-made pimento cheese, which is something kind of a little unique that we do. We use uh, four different types of cheeses. Um, but we, 86, the mayo, right? We, when we were first playing with it, we had mayo in there, we went to deep fry, and when we went to deep fry, it basically fell apart, right? Mm -hmm. So we replaced the uh, mayo with cream cheese. And then that red pepper bacon marmalade on top. Woo! That's why. <laughs> you can put that on anything, right? Can we end now? Like, for real. <laughs> That's it, right? That's all we need. It's unbelievable. It's a wrap. It's so good. It's very unique because I've never seen this in the menu. Yeah. Now, I've seen several restaurants have pimento cheese, but I've never seen it in this form. Right. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of like a risotto ball. people are talking about this. That's our number one seller on the menu. Too, so you know it's legit. That is fire. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. Now, Casey, I know this is not your first venture into the restaurant industry. So tell me a little bit about your history, because we were talking off camera about it. Oh man, starting when I was 14 years old, believe okay. it or not, uh, a little place called Nick's Shaved Ice. That was uh, my brother's shaved ice place. Uh, he ran it for about nine years. I purchased it from him whenever he graduated college. And that's where it all started, man. Um, that paid for my school, my cars, all through college. Wow. Um, and actually sold that my sophomore year of college and took off to Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Wow. So. In the restaurant, seafood industry there, a gentleman named Dale Augustine was kind of my mentor. So uh -huh. that's where I got my feet wet. So, so you kind of got kind of wanting to do a little bit something new and that's why this is born. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you guys, this restaurant is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, everything is absolutely gorgeous. There's clearly been a lot of thought as to why you picked everything you picked and why it's there. It's, it's gorgeous. You mentioned it earlier, man. All the details really matter. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, even the bar I even mentioned like the little ladder that you have kind of reminds me like an old school library oh yeah because you can climb up and get and get the different bottles of liquor it's absolutely unbelievable you have the, the fan I'm a, I'm a, it's called Big Ass Fan that's the name of the company it's, it's a big awesome. fan yeah. yeah it's true it's, it's awesome. awesome right no it, this restaurant is unbelievable I, it, it's hopping but like, even at 4 o'clock this place is starting <laughs> getting back like who it's crazy <laughs> right and doing this shoot right in the middle of the service on yeah, Friday let's night go. Yeah. let's go <laughs> Let's do it. That's awesome. Why would we do it any other way? Yeah. Exactly. I love it. It's awesome. Now, we have this other item. This is kind of like a classic, but your own interpretation of it. Yeah. So, talk to me. What do we got? So, that is a um, kind of a non-traditional uh, Kentucky hot brown. So, 
Hot Brown was named after a uh, the Brown Hotel in Louisville. You see them on menus all throughout Kentucky. Um, we use a uh, smoked Gouda Mornay sauce, which is very unique. Adds a little bit of smokiness to it. Um, and then instead of regular ham, so it's turkey, wow. uh, shaved turkey, and then ham. But we actually use country ham, and that's a Clifty Farms country ham, a, a Kentucky local product. Um, and then that Daly's bacon on top, man, that's like wow. the real deal. Yeah. So That's phenomenal. And, and you mentioned it's a local. So let's talk a little bit about that. You're like a big deal when it comes to using local produce and you as well yep. like you guys love to shop local local farmers we even yeah. had a local farmer that came in while we were in the kitchen that was awesome yeah so shauna can tell a little bit about that she's got the relationships with awesome. all the farmers literally three farmers since you've been here for like the past four hours have showed up today yeah no it's so, pretty crazy yeah. so shauna talk to me about using you know shopping local using local why is that important to you? oh man it's super important for us to really focus on those farmers you know we're always out at the farmers market yeah. And like you saw, you know, they're coming in. He brought me a sample right, right. of uh, a turnip uh, sprout, you know. It's something that I haven't really used before. But uh, it's super amazing for him to bring a little sample of uh, Henderson County grown vegetables. Okay. Um, and then we give them the love on social media. And it just, you know, it really lets people know what's going on in our community. That's awesome. Um, and support one another for sure. That's awesome. Now, I know you and I were talking off camera. And I asked you, how did you discover that this is what you wanted to do? Be a, be a busy a chef. Oh man, so I mean, I've always loved to cook. This is the only thing I've ever done. I've been cooking for about 16 years now. Um, a lot of kitchen manager, shipping jobs, uh, with a lot of creativity behind all of that. Okay. Uh, but it started when I was younger, you know, watching Food Network, and um, my parents awesome. are good cooks, and there's a lot of uh, passion behind it for sure. So, I love it. That's what I do. I love it. And this right here. <laughs> <laughs> Austin is behind the camera. Austin, you're, you're not ready for this. You always yeah. tell me I'm not ready for this. You're not Listen, ready for this. If you eat that, Austin, you'll have to go take a nap afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? It's all good because I'll drive home. Yeah. We'll just fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, Casey, what was your idea? Where did you come up with the concept of how this place is going to look? Is this outstanding? Yeah, man, we have uh, we do a lot of traveling, so you see what they're doing in other cities, bigger cities, and, uh, and we're in little old Henderson, Kentucky, and I wanted to bring a little bit of taste of that um, to Henderson, give people a taste of what else is out there. Um, so when we took over the space, it was a beautiful space. Um, these amazing hardwood floors, massive wood fixtures and things like that, and I walk in and I look at mom and dad, and I'm like, they thought I was crazy already for moving home. <laughs> Are you, you've lost your mind. And we walk in, and I'm like, all right, guys, I was giving them the, the, the amp. I was amping them up, right? I'm like, listen, we're going to tear everything out. We're going to go with concrete floors, steel, um, things like that. And they're like, oh, my Lord, you really have lost your mind. And, and here we are. It turned out great. Believe it or not, my inspiration was like a Google image that I found like really? five years ago. And I'm like, wow. listen, I want this place to look like this. And uh, literally, my brother's over here as well, and, and, and a lot of family and whatnot. We basically built this place. It took us about That's four awesome. or five months. So about everything in here I've, I've touched um, in the design aspect, to build out all that fun stuff. So. I love it. Well, n not only is the food amazing, but there's an experience when you come in. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we talked about earlier is the experience. You know, you got to build the atmosphere. Yes. Pretty cool spot. Right. Yes. Our food, food quality. We use the freshest, most local yes. ingredients humanly possible. And then service. Um, and I'll, I'll put some of our service crew up against anybody yep. in the area. So, uh, yeah, I live absolutely. With passion. And one of my favorite things is like when the, when the place started filling up, everybody's here. <laughs> There's everybody here. It's awesome. Yeah. So it's not like one type of people. Everybody's here. Everybody's having a great time. There's even a gentleman at the bar with a dog, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Bill, you know, got a shout out. Which I, really, right. which I really love. I think, I think it's phenomenal. <laughs> now, one item that I, I've never seen before, and I'm going to need your help with this. Hey, tell me what is it. Yeah, so this is my inspiration for vegetarians to be able to have some Kentucky fried chicken. Our side. Okay. So, um, first off, you know, it is all in the technique of how you prepare the tofu. Okay. Um, you have to squish it so all of the liquids come out, and then you're gonna freeze it. That is kind of our secret. We uh, deep fry it from frozen. Also, cornstarch always helps with the texture, uh, but it's a nice meaty. And then of course, you smother it with mushroom gravy. Serve it with vegetables that a lot of times come from our local farms. Um, you know, it's a really comforting dish for vegetarians. 
to be able to enjoy, you know, and that way they're not lacking uh, anything. They don't just have to have a salad. So that's what I'm passionate about is like everybody you know, to be able to enjoy our food. That's really good. Now, yeah. how'd you come up with this? Well, I'm kind of a vegetarian in my personal life. I mean, as a chef, you can't really not try everything. You know, we taste everything here. Uh, we're making everything from scratch. It's super important. Uh, quality checks and all right. that. Uh, but, you know, I mean, man, how good is that? And, you know, if you don't want the chicken and all that good stuff. So. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Really so good. we have people that get super excited about it, and I'm always excited. Trying you know, to appeal to the masses. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's a great dish, and I've never seen it anywhere yeah. else, and I love the presentation of it. That's awesome. So kudos to you. Now we're going to go to the other end of the spectrum. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Talk to me. What do we got? The meats. Yeah. Yeah. Our this smoked is meatloaf. Okay. Yeah. So our number one seller, right? Meatloaf. Yep. It's our number one seller, and it's also the first dish that we ever created together as our culinary team, you know? Um, that's what it is back here behind those doors. It's not just Casey. It's not just me. Um, it's a team of people that make all of this crazy stuff happen. And I'm telling you, the first time we all got together in a kitchen, we actually didn't even cook it here because our kitchen wasn't ready. We went to Sleep on Cafe. A whole shout out to him for letting us use our kitchen, do a little prep. I actually smoked it on his personal green egg at the farm to table event. It's the first event we ever did in 2018. And uh, here it is. It's still our number one seller. Um, we still use beef and bacon. It's a local product. Again, that local meat. Um, I feel a lot better about serving this rather than just commodity beef, you know, um, and be able to support them. It's a whole um, full circle. Oh, no, kind of thing. So, this is something that's kind of unique about that one, Louise. Like you said, she mentioned it's all local meat, uh, but it's a 50 50 blend. Yeah. So it's 50% pork, ground pork, and 50% ground beef, yeah. uh, which is kind of unique. It adds a little bit different texture to it, moisture. Oh, yeah. I love it. I, I like the density of it. The, the, it's nice and juicy, mm -hmm. beautiful flavor throughout, and that sauce is phenomenal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Listen, I, I mean, what else I'm gonna, you I'm gonna throw something else out there, right? That's our number one seller, okay? But those two sides are my two favorite things on the menu. Okay. That's a jalapeno cream corn and our collard greens. Okay. Collard greens are local wheat. The, the farmer that was here earlier, he just dropped off some collard greens. He grows them year round. Um, and the collard greens are, are truly amazing. They got a lot of love. A lot of love, yeah. A lot and of love butter. on both sides. Yeah. Bacon. Wow. Bacon fat. Wow. Bacon fat, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Now, are you originally from Henderson? Yeah, born and raised in Henderson. I did a little stint. I was gone for about 13, 14 years. Mm -hmm. Honestly, thought I'd never be back in Henderson, right? Um, my wife and I, we've got a, a, a five-year-old now, but she was born five years ago, and that was about the time we moved back. Um, we wanted to be a little closer to family. I always had a dream of opening my own restaurant. Um, never thought it would have been in Henderson, but look at it. It's been a huge success. So yeah. everything's you. been good. Yeah. So um, it's been a lot, a lot of fun, man. We've brought some life back to the community, and it's only continuing to grow. So I, I love it because, I mean, you, you nailed it right on the head. Because when I walked in and I saw the size of the restaurant, I'm like, all right, this dude is either nuts or he's a genius. <laughs> One or two. And it's obviously a genius. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I, I love it. Right, man. Much success to you. The restaurant's yeah. outstanding. Like I said, everybody's here. It's amazing. Everybody's having a great time. Also in Buffalo, every, it's amazing. Now, are you also from here? Yeah, born and raised. Uh, you know, again, went off to college, went to Western Kentucky University for a little while. Um, and I'd love to travel anyways, but, you know, this is my home for sure. So I'm definitely okay. happy to be back. I'm glad he opened up home to okay. so I can work here. I love it. Awesome. Now, this is your guys' substitute for table bread, yes? Yeah. Okay, so talk to me. What do we got? This is our jalapeno cornbread, all right? Topped with some honey butter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's to die for. Um, and it's probably our most talked about item. And guess what? It's free. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what made you want to put this in the menu? What made you want to put this in the oh, menu? Man. What's more southern than uh, oh, cornbread? So yeah. My dad was like always a cornbread man growing up. Um, he had like the little corn sticks that I'm sure some yeah. old school, you know? Mom and dad had those, yeah. right? Yeah. But dad was like so old school. He was like the most dry, non sweet cornbread. Like if he made okay. sweet cornbread, it would be just for us. And he tells me that cornbread should not be sweet. Well, I disagree with it. Throw some sugar and some jalapenos in it. It's ready. Yeah. It's like corn flavored so cake, good. right? Yeah, right. We've had a lot. It's, it's like so cake. good. Yeah. I mean, nice and moist and 
you can taste a little bit of the jalapeno, but it's not overpowering. Yeah. Honey butter fire, I mean, phenomenal. I, now I understand why you guys serve this, and people probably riot if you take this off the menu, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's phenomenal. I'm so blown away. This is crazy. Now, one of the other items that you guys have, of course, working with the whole local, or local farmers and everything, is this cell. You couldn't stop talking about it. So talk to me about this cell. Yeah, so this is our uh, just a traditional chicken finger salad. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but the thing that makes it a little more unique is um, all of those greens on that salad are locally grown. Um, a gentleman named Andy Seymour with Seymour Farms has about a 25,000 square foot greenhouse where he grows these greens. Wow. When I first met him, you know, I thought it was a little old man growing some greens. I'm like, oh man, he'll, he'll be able to supply us with some lettuce two weeks out of the year. And I met Andy, I'm like, oh Lord. Good job, you all see and yeah. No, I'm awesome. like, man, this yeah. is, uh, we and, and we created that partnership about two and a half years ago. Uh, I'm sure you guys will see pictures of the grow wall. We've got basically a little mini setup of our hydroponic grow wall back That's here. Awesome. It's basically a display of what, exactly what he does, just on a much, much smaller scale. So, uh, we've got local tomato farm as well, you know, about three or three quarters of the year, we'll have local tomatoes, um, and we're like a few weeks out from those. I know it sounds crazy, but the sun has been a huge help for that. So, it's, the presentation is beautiful, it's nice, bright flavors, fresh, so good, and this ranch phenomenal. Oh, yeah, so good. I'm so blown away. The ultimate, I'm a huge fan of this, so we're gonna switch here. We'll yeah. take a look at this. All right. So when Austin was taking photos of this, I almost tackled him, okay? I don't even have a spoon, but who cares? Who cares? Gorgeous presentation. Talk to me about it. Absolutely. So, of course, it's the first dessert that we ever put on our menu, and okay. it's still right now today, you know? Um, banana pudding, right? The meringue is obviously fresh, made with local eggs, because we use a ton of local eggs in-house. It's a Kate sorghum, farms, right? exactly, yep. Kate's Farm, yep. Uh, and it is a sorghum banana pudding, so we use a local sorghum. It's a very unique so. product, and we, we add it into a lot of our dishes. Uh, it adds a nice, complex flavor. Um, so definitely not your basic banana pudding. And then, you know, layered with graham crack, or with the vanilla wafers and fresh bananas. And then toasting the meringue, just going a little bit above and beyond, for sure. Yeah, can't get any better than that. That is Southern living on a plate right there. It's, 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 it's gorgeous. Yeah. I love the presentation. The flavor, of course, is out of this world. I knew it was going to be good, just when it came out, I saw it, I'm like, okay, it's game over now. Right, yeah. And like I said, I almost tackled Austin, you know, he'd be a good, good friend, you know. Austin, you'll have to fight him off. For I know. Right. <laughs> I love it. I mean, everything, everything that we've had is just knocked it out of the park. And everything comes together with this environment. You have a beautiful restaurant, incredible food, and an incredible level of orchestration in the kitchen. Because when you and I were talking earlier, you were saying, you know, I don't tell them what to do. I kind of lead them. And, and everybody has their own space to be able to create and, and help execute as a team together, right? Yeah, no, it's absolutely beautiful how everything has really come together. It's really meant to be, you know, a lot of our team has been here since day one. I'm since day one, we all have such love and passion behind what we do. Um, and like you said, you know, leading them to success and, and orchestrating. That's my new gig, and I, I really do enjoy it. And then we have a lot of fun here, as you can see. You know? Absolutely. Well, even to the point that when we were in the kitchen, it was all quiet and just cooking. <laughs> And Casey said, you know what, why don't you put some music on? Yeah, I so weird. Weird. Cause he said, cause you said, it's kind of weird in here. Yeah, it's some music weird. on. Yeah, Nothing yeah. like normal back then. Right. Like, you guys, you gotta put some music on. As soon as they did. Uh, as soon yeah, as they did. You started to see it. They started to see it. They started to see it. That's what it's all about. Yeah. It was phenomenal. I mean, I, I love this restaurant. Anytime that I am in Henderson, 1,000% I'm coming back here because, like I said, people talk to me about this restaurant like 30 minutes away. When I was in Owensboro, there, there was a, a lady last night that was driving us back to the hotel, and she said, 
Go look at the sink in the bathroom because it's really unique. Yeah. Oh, pimento cheese fritters. It's literally a stone. There you go. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. So good. Man. I absolutely love this restaurant. Look, everybody, if you're looking for more restaurants, like Hometown Roots, if you like restaurant content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you know whenever we drop a new episode. Now, guys, how can people find out more information about Hometown Roots? Oh, man. Uh, you can check out our website. It's hometownrootsky.com. Uh, we also have a nice uh, Facebook, Instagram presence. Uh, we keep it updated as much as humanly possible with our specials and things that we got going on our events. Um, and also, man, we've got a, a couple other businesses on the block as well. We got Rose Coffee Bar. Uh, we partnered with the Frothy Monkey out of Nashville, Tennessee. Um, so we got your coffee fix as well. We just rolled out a new barbecue concept, Homer's Barbecue. Uh, so kind of on the block of, of Second Street in downtown Henderson. You can come check us out, man. So. I love it. Well, we got to do an episode at Homer's, right? I know, yeah. right? Of course. <laughs> They've been coming out. I just saw John, know, managing yeah. partner over there. He's jealous. Yeah. <laughs> and also... You guys are going to be able to see more of Casey and Shauna because we're going to be doing lives now, right? That's right. We're going live all the time. Oh, yeah. exactly. <laughs> that way you guys will know what's going on at Hometown Road. Plus, you guys have specials, right? Every right. week? Every two weeks, yeah. Every two Absolutely. weeks, we're all yeah. specials. Especially yeah. in the summertime, we use tons oh, yeah. of local farmers oh, yeah. whenever we can get our hands on yeah. the farmer's market. Oh, so. so it allows you to be different. Plus, it allows you to be creative in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Be like, oh, we want to make this. Yeah, that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. Now, where you? What's the address here? Uh, 136 Second Street, downtown Henderson. I mean, do you remember the phone number? Because we never dial around. Absolutely not. Okay, cool. Google it. Don't you yeah. have Google? Seriously. <laughs> Google hometown roots. Okay. It's 270. 212. Something for other numbers. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Sorry. It's on our website. It's all good. Well, I've enjoyed this thoroughly, and I'm going to tell you, everybody who's watching right now, this restaurant, 1,000% certified legit. It is worth the drive. I don't care what direction you're driving right now. Turn around, come to Henderson, Kentucky, come to Hometown Roots. It is 1,000% worth it. You can also find a full listing for them on AmericasBestRestaurants.com. And that's it for me. I'm going to eat this food. I'm going to be a good friend of Austin and have a meet some food. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you, guys.